Hi everyone, I'm Steve, uh, back here with Dr. Nario for our series of interviews. Um, we're talking about different IV drips. Uh, Dr. Nario is at Biointegrative Health Center in Reno, Nevada, and they do, I think, pretty much every IV drip that we're going to be talking about in this part of our, of our series. So, um, like I said, they're in Reno, Nevada. You can check them out online. Welcome, doctor. Hi, Steve. Thank you for having me again. Always a pleasure. Okay. So this time, let's talk about, this is a pretty quick drip, if you do a drip, but glutathione. And we'll, we'll get into more of this. I have more questions about the glutathione, but can we just start with you telling us, what is glutathione? Steve, that is, a, that is one of our more popular IVs in the clinic. And always, I wanna bring everybody back to where glutathione is affiliated with. Most of the time it's related to beautiful skin, anti-aging, usually added in facial creams and commercialized for cosmetics and aesthetics. But there's more to it than just a beauty regimen for glutathione. There's so much benefits that you have to know about it. And I love it. I, I myself get it a lot. Uh, going back to the basics, it's a tripeptide, meaning three amino acids intertwined all together. This is cysteine, glycine, and glutamic acid. And it's primarily made in our own livers. So we have our own factory uh, going on. And it's the primary intracellular or inside the cell protector uh, in relation to being an antioxidant and thus giving it uh, a very important role in, in life and in the, in the extension of life. Being a potent antioxidant, it also is in charge for <clears throat> cellular defense against free radicals. Thus, useful in any disease condition that you can even think about, involving also basic uh, functions of our system, of our body, such as DNA production, DNA repair, protein production and transport, metabolism, uh, metabolism of toxins. That's why it's a very potent detoxifier. It's an immune system function booster. It also activates all the enzymes in our bodies for us to function every day. Okay, you kind of answered the next thing I was gonna ask, but the, the big thing to point out here is our bodies produce it, right? It's, our bodies produce it in the liver, and I'm assuming that some bodies produce it better than other bodies, but we can also administer it. So I was also going to ask, why is it important? Now, you pretty much just answered all that, but is there something else that you would add to why glutathione is important? There is. Steve, the, 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 the talk about glutathione, I can talk about it all day. There's just so many beneficial things that we can definitely get out of it because if it's the jack of all trades and use it, it's a use it whatever type of mentality when you have glutathione at hand. And it's almost like a Swiss knife of functionality, meaning there's so many uses for it. So let me give you just some, some uh, overviews on how, how it can function. As I mentioned to you, the main reason why it's in our body, it's a potent antioxidant. It reduces the uh, production of free radicals in whatever process, disease process, we are going through. Anti-cancer, a very good anti-cancer um, supplement, useful even for uh, patients who are going through radiation. And we know during radiation, cells are getting destroyed, meaning more free radical production as they get um, blasted out. And that's why we give it before uh, treatment or before the radiation therapy uh, started. And it's one of the strongest anti-cancer agents made um, in the body. And antivirus. Uh, who doesn't like antiviruses uh, right now or any antiviral remedies? It actually prevents activity of enzymes, uh, giving you an example for the flu virus, to invade the cells in your mouth and your throat. And again, very important in the immune function by boosting the production of our white cells, which are, protective, uh, are known to be our protective cells and also anti-aging effects. It increases blood flow to the skin, thus giving us radiance and a youthful glow. It is also involved in cellular development in slowing down of the aging process. Who doesn't like that? Liver protector, 
if your uh, weekends are defined by zombie crawls and every day is St. Patrick's Day for you, glutathione is definitely made for you. Uh, it's also part of our hangover protocol and also helps with liver conditions such as fatty liver, cirrhosis, hepatitis, and even liver cancers. Another one more common that uh, we use in the practice is heavy metal remover. It also, if you're, uh, if you're walking through the airport scanner and ringing that alarm because you have so many heavy metals in the system, such as lead, mercury, cadmium, arsenic, uh, this is something that definitely needs to be added to your protocol, especially our chelation protocol. And of course, other conditions, such as it improves prognoses of stroke victims, Parkinson's, we use it a lot in Parkinson's as well, circulation problems, COPD, autism, chronic infections, nail biting, yes. That also is an indication for glutathione. May it be hands or toes. And exercise induced fatigue, so part of our athletic protocol that we give uh, here in the clinic. The list goes on and on and on. It's so long and it's surprisingly very diverse. Okay, yes. So I guess it's a huge liver supporter. So um, now, Let's talk a little bit about how it's administered. So I've taken it three ways, injection, a push. So maybe you could describe or, or talk about what a push is. Uh, I get it with an IV. Um, and then, um, so three ways, IV, push, and injection, a shot. Mm -hmm. And so can you just kind of talk about now, also, I, I take it with vitamin B. Is, is there a reason for that, or am I just, just taking vitamin B along with it? So can you talk about the way that it's administered, and why, why do I always take it with vitamin B? All right, yeah, so that, that's a good question, Steve. There's so many creative ways in how we, are, um, we can administer glutathione, but only few are medically backed up by science. Glutathione is a very unstable molecule and any irritant can destroy it. That's why oral intake of glutathione destroys it easily because of our digestive enzymes and also the hydrochloric acid that we have in the digestive tract. And uh, that's why you would hear products out there uh, given orally as a liquid. And we do, we are okay with that, but you have to, <clears throat> to definitely get a very, very good quality, like medically grade quality, um, so that you would get a very good dose that can enter into your system. So you would hear the word liposomal. So if you're going to go orally, go for liposomal. Uh, and also, uh, it also uh, again, the precursors you can also go for, the NAC, such as maybe a good dose of 1,000 milligrams per day can increase glutathione levels. Uh, the tablets and capsules that are in the market, I wouldn't recommend that just because you're basically destroying that glutathione so fast. Another one would be topical. Topical is one of the more effective ways since it, uh, you, don't, can, you cannot get IVs every day or be injected on, but you just rub it on your skin. It does smell like eggs, not the best smelling uh, supplement. And we use it, I use it a lot here in the practice. And myself, I use it personally because I, I am always creating free radicals because I'm stressed at work. That's why I need my neutralizers. Uh, another one would be nebulized or intranasal. So we use this more for lung disease, fibro pulmonary fibrosis, COPD, asthma, lung. Uh, any lung condition will be benefit, uh, benefiting from uh, intranasal or nebulized form of glutathione. Now let's go to your specific uh, experiences about intramuscular glutathione, number one. Uh, we use this a lot for prevention of toxicity of chemotherapy and treating male even infertility. The thing here, sometimes there's, a, there's some uncomfortable pain that's involved because it's getting into the muscle. Uh, another one would be as an IV push. An IV push is a slower administration of, of glutathione, which is almost equivalent to IV form because uh, IV is just more regulated by a roller. But IV and push, I can definitely compare them under the same umbrella. And this is also the most effective way of increasing your glutathione levels. And this is what we do here in the practice as part of our specialty. 100% absorption and quicker effects. Going back to your question again about, yeah, I'm getting vitamin Bs along with it. 
So glutathione works best when your body has ample amounts of vitamins and minerals. So a nutritionally deficient body will not use glutathione as well as somebody who does. And again, with glutathione, there's still some precautions, uh, especially for sulfur allergies. Sometimes they cross-react. And we have to make sure that we ask that before administration. Okay, so yeah, that's it answers. I, I always get, I usually get a push with my vitamin bag, which has all the vitamins, minerals, amino acids in it. And then before they take the IV out, they take, it looks like a big syringe. Well, the needle's not that big. And then they just push the glutathione into the same place where I had the IV, as opposed right. to putting another IV up there, a bag, and letting it drip mm -hmm. in again. So those are just the different ways I've done it. So, Well, the, another point that you brought up there with the, uh, with the IV push versus an IV bag, you can actually put more doses of glutathione in a bag compared to just a syringe. So that's another advantage of getting it through an IV bag. Yeah, I mean, the IV bag is almost always going to be better than yeah. all the other forms of taking these different treatments, right? Right, right. Okay, so last uh, question, kind of a double question. Um, can you take too much, or if you're if you're supplementing with glutathione in any way, some of the ways, does that cause your body to stop producing it, or is is there a danger in taking too much, or is it more is better, or can you address that? Yeah, so that's a very good question, Steve. The for starting dose of glutathione ranges in the 100 to 500 milligrams, depending on, on the case and also sensitivity of the patient. Uh, the key here is evaluate how patient tolerates doses uh, before giving higher doses uh, on them. So slow, go low uh, and start slow before you go to the higher dosing. So building up is the key. Uh, especially when we're talking about chronic conditions such as like Parkinson's, for example, uh, we go up as high as like 2,400 or even 10,000 milligrams. So those are, these are crazy doses. I'm not telling everybody to jump on that. And another caution that I, I can tell to everybody may be what uh, cho a cho the chosen mode of administration, caution, because it can stimulate detoxification. As I mentioned to you, it stimulates the liver. If you go too high on an initial dose, you might have what we call detox reactions. And it's different for everybody. Nausea or vomiting, feeling dizzy after um, the, the medicine. So just be cautious about that. And always remember, glutathione decreases with age. It's almost 1% per year. Plus, adding to our normal lives, normal lives of people, smoking, alcohol, illness, stress, bad diet, lack of sleep, all of these activities are uh, promoting the creation of free radicals. So there will never really be a moment that we will overdose on it for the reason that we are always exposed to these specific stressors every day. And that's why I have patients who have given glutathione every day um, just because of these same, uh, same reasons. And always remember, natural ways of promoting glutathione production is always there and should be the foundation rather than depending on the external application or administration of glutathione, such as increasing exercise, diet with uh, more amino acids, uh, higher fruits and vegetables, and also uh, consuming organic goods without chemicals, uh, and also combining this with supplementation to really see the maximum benefits of glutathione. Wow, thank you. That answers my question and more, and you just kind of reminded me, my wife, she takes a little bit of glutathione, you know, it knocks her, it knocks her off the wall. You know, just a little bit. So anyway, right. um, thank you, doctor. Uh, a great treatment. Again, one of my favorites. So I'm Steve. That is Dr. Nario of Biointegrative Health Center in Reno, Nevada. Check him out online. A lot of great treatments. So thank you, doctor. Thank you, Steve. And as we all know, knowledge is power. And thank you for letting me provide you with the edge in longevity and health maintenance, which I call the biological edge or the bio edge.